hello welcome to the second tutorial video on this topic set so in this video we talk about the conjugate of a set my name is Abraham Mofori a third year KUST mathematics student so let's start conjugate set so what is the definition of conjugate set okay so look at it the conjugate set of a given set is the negation of the sign in front of the square root sign when we have only one set present whoa th there is a mistake with the present kindly forgive me okay so that is a plus the square root of b you negate this and it becomes negative otherwise you can also say the changing of the sign in front of the square root sign okay so i change the sign here to negative and this definition is when you have only one square root present only one set this one okay for example what's the conjugate set of the following what's the conjugate set of the following so i have two minus square root of three then four plus square root of seven then square root of five so our task here is to find the conjugate set of the following of this set so solution so 2 minus square root of 3 has a conjugate set of 2 plus square root of 3 how how do we get how do we get this one you are saying that 2 minus square root of 3 has a conjugate set of 2 plus square root of 3 how do we say that the conjugate set of this is that we just change the sign here to positive and so if it is positive as well we change it to what negative like this one now the problem is this square root of 5 note that square root of 5 the same as 0 plus square root of 5 and so if I change the sign between them it will become what minus square root of 5 okay so that is it now other forms of conjugates are we have this one the conjugate of two sets so if you have two sets you know adding or subtracting then the conjugate of the set giving us square root of a plus square root of b is giving us square root of a minus square root of b so here we just negate the sign between the two sets or you can say that you are just changing the sign from one either positive to negative or negative towards positive all right so example we have two square root of two plus square root of three and it's giving us a conjugate of what two square root of two minus square root of three we have other one to be square root of 6 minus square root of 10 and it has a conjugate set of this change just changing the sign here and that is all so we have some basic properties of conjugate sets okay these um i just typed them myself and i realized that it is working so uh, i don't have a theorem back in it though but you can let it you can learn it for me so we are saying the addition of a set and its conjugate set is never a set but a rational number when the set is one okay so we, we saw one question and i will explain why i'm saying when the set is one okay so subtraction of a set and its conjugate set is always a set which stands alone when the set is also one okay this one actually even if the set is not one and there are two yes we just get one set that stands alone okay so multiplication of a set and its conjugate two is also never a set but what a rational number as for that one even if the set is just one or two it's still a rational number okay so examples are so the first one you are saying that what is the square the conjugate set of two minus square root of three is this one two plus square root of three so if i add them so i just add two plus two the properties that we did in the first introduction to set you know that you add the ones that stands alone and you you do what you add the ones in front of the sets so i add two plus two i'll get four then if i point you can even point this on a calculator Neg negative sorry you can point this on a calculator negative square root of three plus square root of three you get zero so this becomes four that's why we are saying that the addition of a set and its conjugate set is never a set but the rational number one the set is just one so when it is just one that is the square root sign is just one in front just one like this the addition of them will always give a rational number then the subtraction of a set 
and its conjugate is always what I said. Look at it. I have 4 plus this and I have 4 minus this. If I subtract them, it becomes 4 minus 4. It will give me 0. Then square root of 7 minus negative square root of 7. And that will be what? Plus square root of 7. And this will give me 2 square root of 7. That is why this statement. But even if here is square root, if let's say here is square root of 2, something like this. Square root, let's say, um, oh. Let, let's take it like let's say here was square root of 2 then square root of 5 square root of 2 if i subtract them so the first one will subtract but there's other ones they will always be there okay so the product of them if i have this the conjugate side of this is that when i multiply them we are using difference of two square here so from difference of two square we take the first one is square root minus the second one squared yeah the first one is two the second one is what square root of 5. I'll treat difference of two squares in um, algebraic expression very soon. So wait for that video. Okay, but here let's let's use it that we have two same here. This is the same as this one and this is the same as this one. But the only thing changing here is the plus and minus and you can use the difference of two squares method. Okay, so find the conjugate set of the following. So I have 1 plus square root of 2 and this one is 2 minus 3 square root of 3. Then I have 3. And I have these ones. Square root of A over square root of D plus 3. And I have 2 square root of 3 plus 3 square root of 5. And I'm supposed to find the conjugate set of these. You can do this, right? Okay, so continue and do them. So this 1 plus square root of 2 has a conjugate set of this. 1 minus square root of 2. And... 2 minus 3 square root of 3 has conjugate set of what? 2 plus 3 square root of 3. You see, conjugate set is very easy. But here, 3. It has a conjugate set of 3 because 3 is not a set. And so it's like saying 3 plus square root of 0. And square root of 0 is 0. So it becomes 3 plus square root of 0. The conjugate becomes what? 3 minus square root of 0. And that will be what? 3. So if I have this, square root of a over square root of d plus this um if you recall you can rewrite this i i forgot to add this you can rewrite this as square root of the whole fraction a over d from the first introduction to set if you remember the introduction to set we said we have square root of a over square root of d then the whole of this can be written as square root of the whole fraction a over d and so we are just changing the sign here so it becomes here you don't touch the rational part so it becomes negative square root of that plus that so if you have the square root of this two square root of it has a conjugate set of what two square root of three minus three square root of five and so what we learned in this video is that we learned the conjugate of a set we learned some arithmetic operations on set that is the addition of uh, multiplication and subtraction so some basic operational properties of a conjugate set we did that as in the addition, subtraction, and the multiplication, their properties. Okay. So thank you and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll see you next time.